Hi everyone, my name is Moisa Chasanka and I am from the New York State Department of Taxation and Finance. I would like to welcome you, or in some cases, welcome you back to our facilitated self-assistance training presentation. Normally, this training is conducted at one of our facilitated self-assistance sites. Unfortunately, we have had to close those sites due to the coronavirus. The great thing is, taxpayers that qualify for facilitated self-assistance can still use facilitated self-assistance software to complete their tax returns. In this video, I am going to show you how. The facilitated self-assistance program provides access to software that will let you prepare and file your tax return online for free. To qualify, you must be filing a basic tax return for the current year. Your return is not considered basic if you're reporting self-employment income on a Schedule C, investment income, on a Schedule D, or income and losses for real property. If you're filing a non-basic return, you're ineligible for a facilitated self-assistance program. However, if your income was $69,000 or less, you may still qualify for one of the free software options offered through New York State's Free File program. Search Free File on our website for more information. If all of your income for the year came from Social Security, you may not even need to file a full New York State tax return. You might only need to file Form NYC-210, New York City School Tax Credit, or Form IT-214, Real Property Tax Credit. You may need to file both. For more information regarding individual filing requirements, go to the Tax Department's website and search, Do I Need to File an Income Tax Return? Regardless of which software you use to file, there are few things you'll need to file your tax return. New York State's Facilitated Self-Assistance Program uses My Free Taxes software provided by H&R Block, and you'll be asked to set up an H&R Block account the first time you use it. To set up an account, you must have an active email address. This address will be used to send you important information about the status of your return. My Free Taxes is easy to use, but it does assume you have basic computer skills. If you're uncomfortable using a computer, you may want to ask a friend or family member for help. The software will ask for identifying information about yourself, your spouse if filing jointly, and any dependents claimed on your return. Make sure you have birth dates and social security numbers handy. If you're filing a New York State return, you'll be asked for driver's license, or non-driver's ID numbers for you and your spouse if filing jointly. Finally, you'll need to have all your relevant tax documents. Relevant tax documents are any records that show proof of the income and losses reported on your tax return. You'll be asked to support any deductions or credits you claim. Some of these documents may have been sent to you. Others may have been collected or produced by yourself. For example, Form W-2 Wage and Income Statement is usually provided by your employer. Form 1098 is usually provided by the lender that holds your mortgage. You may have received multiple Forms 1099 from different sources, or you might have filled out Form 1099 yourself to report miscellaneous income. Form 1095 is used to administer the Affordable Care Act and is provided by your health insurance provider. If you didn't receive Form 1095, the necessary information may appear in Box 12 on Form W-2. You will also want to have on hand any documents that support the credits you claim on your return. For example, receipts for child or senior care, if you want to claim the dependent care credit, or a Form 1098-T, tuition statement to claim the college tuition credit. If you would like to be able to make payments with direct debit or have refunds directly deposited into your bank account, you'll need to provide your bank account and bank routing numbers. You can find these numbers printed on the bottom of one of your checks, as illustrated here. For a list of the most common documents and information you will need to file your tax returns, See Form TP-325-OS 
available to view or download on our tax department website. Once you have gathered your documents and information, you're ready to get started. In order to use the FSA software for free, you must access it through the tax department website. Go to our website at www.tax.ny.gov and search FSA. The facilitated self-assistance page should be the first return listed. Click this link to get to the facilitated self-assistance landing page. On the facilitated self-assistance page, select the appropriate filing option for you. If you're ineligible for free filing through the facilitated self-assistance program, you will be directed to alternate software providers through our free file program. Next, you will be directed to a welcome screen for MyFreeTaxes.com. To confirm you're on the right website, make sure you see the United Way logo in the lower right-hand corner of the page. Click the File Now button to continue. Then you will be directed to a second welcome screen. Click the File Now button. You will be redirected to the h &R Block account creation page. To create a new account, enter your email address, choose a username, and create a password. If you already have an h &R Block account, you will need to create a new one specifically for My Free Taxes. You can use the same email address, just choose a different username for this new account. If you select Create an Account Later, you will be allowed to demo a trial version of My Free Taxes, but you won't be able to print or submit the return without an account. Next, you will be asked to provide answers to three security questions. This information will be used to help confirm your identity if you need to retrieve a lost password. Choose questions that only you know the answers to. You can't use the same answer for more than one question. For example, if the city in which you were born and the city where you got your first job are the same, only one of those can be chosen as a security question. It's important that you save your logon information so that you can access your account in the future. An easy way to do this is to complete Form TP-327-OS, which is available on our website. You should save it with your tax records. After you have set up your account, the H&R Block Online Service Agreement and Privacy Notice will appear on your screen. Once you have read these terms of service, indicate your acceptance by clicking Next. H&R Block utilizes a two-step verification process to prevent access to your account from an unauthorized device. The email address they provided earlier will be used as an authenticator by default. If you would like to authenticate using text messaging or Google Authenticator, click the corresponding setup link. Before you start completing your tax return, make sure you see the MyFreeTaxes.com logo in the upper left corner of the site. This logo should appear on every screen. If you see the h &R Block logo instead, you're not at MyFreeTaxes.com and you could be charged a fee. In that case, you may need to log out and create a new account with a different username. If that fails to resolve the problem, or if you have any technical issues with the software, call the My Free Taxes telephone support line at 1-866-698-9435. To get answers to specific tax questions, find forms or instructions, or learn about the New York State tax credits, search our website at www.tax.ny.gov. Remember, the New York State filing deadline for 2019 personal income tax returns has been extended to July 15, 2020. We understand the closure of our facilitated self-assistance sites is an inconvenience, but we hope this presentation will help as many New Yorkers as possible utilize the program. For more information or to learn how to contact the tax department, please search our website. Thank you.